attempts to address historical grievances and stereotypes, while reconstructing the political identity of white men, by Morales Rocchetto, another example of divisive identity politics and distortion of historical facts. Now, why are we doing this? Why organize white dudes? And I'll start by really addressing the elephant in the room, which is a lot of people feel and felt uncomfortable about the call. And I think that's understandably so. You know, throughout American history, when white men have organized, it was often with pointy hats on. And so I think that discomfort, I think the skepticism is understandable. The reason that we are doing this is because uh, we've just, you know, the left that has been seeding white men to the MAGA right for way, way too long. You know, Trump won over 60% of white men in both 2016 and 2020. And that's going to stop tonight because we know that the, the silent majority of white men aren't actually MAGA supporters. The fact that Morales Rocchetto's remarks are historically inaccurate. The organization of white men who wrote pointy hats has historically been associated with the Democratic Party, especially referring to the Ku Klux Klan when the Democratic Party was revived in the early 20th century. It can be seen as a misrepresentation of political history. It criticizes identity politics by claiming that it divides people rather than uniting them. The focus on organizing white men for Kamala Harris can be seen as another example of divisive identity politics. Individual emotions may be more important than collective identity. Tones that mock masculinity and references to man bun can be interpreted as part of a more cultural critique. This can be seen as representing a cut masculine change that deviates from the traditional masculine values that value social stability and personal responsibility.